Hello everyone and I am back today with another planner video and this is a video that I have um, been meaning to do for quite a while now. Um, as all of you know who have been watching my plan with me is who know planners, um, I have been using a plum paper planner um, since January of 2015 so for pretty much an entire year. For about ten and a half months now, um, I have been using my Plum Paper Planner, although it does have an Erin Condren cover on it right now. Um, today I want to talk about, and I did a video when I first got my Plum Paper Planner, about why I decided to go with a Plum Paper Planner versus an Erin Condren Planner. And got a lot of views on that video, and I really want to talk to you now um, about why at the end of this year I will be switching over to an Erin Condren planner and I've already purchased it. This is the um, 2016 um, Erin Condren planner and I am super excited to use it. Um, and I want to talk to you about why I'm making the switch when I was dead set against going with an Erin Condren um, at the beginning of the year. And I really, after using the Plum Paper planner for quite a, f for about three few months, probably I would say about two or three months, I knew that that was not the planner that I wanted to use for the following year. So I knew pretty quickly this wasn't planner piece for me. This this wasn't the be all and end all planner for me at all. So um, I have made a quick list of some pros and cons. Um, so this video isn't all over the place. And I'm going to start off by some reasons of the reasons why I decided that this is not the planner for me. So some cons that I have found with the Plum Paper Planner, um, which have led me to purchase an Erin Condren Planner because this has the things that, or doesn't do the things that I don't like in the Plum Paper Planner. So the first thing that I don't like, I'm just gonna move my Erin Condren over until I need it. So the first thing that I'm gonna talk about are is the cover. Um, you will see right away on this planner, I have an Erin Condren cover on this um, planner um, because I absolutely hated the old cover and I cut it off and I actually threw out the plastic. The Plum Paper Planner covers the um, ones that were available for purchase before November 1st, 2015. They were a cardstock design with this like frosted plastic cover that went over top to kind of protect the planner. And the problem with this was that the paper underneath would get dirty. Um, the ends would start to um, like soften up a little bit like you can see just on the pages here. Um, and the plastic cover never laid straight. It was always like bumpy and it was horrible. So when they had the buy one, get one free for um, on the Erin Condren website for um, covers, I purchased four covers and I immediately cut my cover off for the um, plum, plum Paper Planner and put this on. And as you can see, it fits absolutely perfectly on the Plum Paper Planner. So. If you do have a Plum Paper Planner and you are wondering about that, this was just a 12 month planner. I know on the groups there's always talk about coil size, that's the big thing. Um, and this is just a 12 month planner. Um, and I do have some extra things in here, but it has, it has bulked up a little bit. Um, but I mean, I had absolutely no trouble getting the, um, the cover on here. So the first thing that I really didn't like about the Plum Paper Planner was the cover and that was something that I kind of hmmed and hot about when I was getting ready to purchase the planner and when I got it it just kind of solidified the fact that I did not like the cover. I, didn't, I liked the design that I chose um, and I actually still have the, um, the cardboard cover which I may laminate so I can put it back on the planner at the, for the end of the year just to keep this safe. I, I don't know yet. Um, now, as I said, they have changed the cover. They have made um, interchangeable covers for the Plum Paper Planner. It's not um, 
laminated like the Erin Condren, um, it's, I, I don't know how to describe it, it's like this um, softer sort of material. So they have changed it, made it interchangeable, made it a little bit more durable, gotten rid of the, the plastic cover. So they have changed that, but I can't comment on the durability or how I would like that cover simply because I have not seen it in person, so I, I don't want to comment on the newer cover, but the cover that was available before November 1st was the cover I disliked. Um, one other thing that I really disliked about this planner, um, it didn't have note pages at the back. It had um, note pages at the front. So it had like the um, monthly divider. This is the December, because I've changed the rest of the months but I purposely left this one available for the video. So it had um, a cardstock divider, then it had a note page, and then it would go into um, the monthly view. And then at the end of the month, it had another note page, and then I had an add-on, um, a bill tracker. And then it had one, one, two pages of notes. So it had like one full page back to back of notes and just the front of one page for notes. That was it. The one thing that I really disliked about the Plum Paper Planner was when I turn to the month, I wanna open this divider and I want the calendar to be right here. I never ever used this note page. I thought it was gonna be fabulous and I'd find some purpose for it. I never used it. In almost an entire year, I never used this paper. What I ended up doing, let's take this off. So what I ended up doing was taking, so this is November's divider. You open it up and then I actually glued, you can see this, I actually glued the glue runner or glue stick, I forget, the page right to the divider. So then I could open it up and ta-da, there's the month. And I will be doing this after this video. I will be doing the same thing for December. I personally like to open it up and boom, there's my month. And this is something that um, is in the Erin Condren, I can show you. In the Erin Condren, and this is just, just a random month. Here's the divider for June. Open it up, boom. And this is what I was missing out on in the Plum Paper Planner. And I mean, I did glue it, but it just, it created bulk because those pages were together. And I just felt like it was just a waste of paper and it just created extra bulk that didn't need to be there with the divider being cardstock. So this is something that I'm looking forward to in the Erin Condren planner for 2016. I'll move it off to the side again. And another thing that they did in the calendar here is you can see, and I'll, again I'll turn to, they don't immediately carry on the month. So here is the week of, of November 23rd to 29th. Turn the page, there's one day, one day. And then all this grayed out space. So what I end up doing is gluing this together. So then I immediately turn, well, to my bill tracker, but I'm not showing you all that information. And then it goes right into December. So I just, I feel like it's this huge waste of paper. And like here you can see Here's November's page, and then it starts on the second because I glued, again, these pages together. And then in October, you can see, October you can see it went to the 31st, and then there was this grayed out day, which is the 1st of November, which I just used as the 1st of November because it's silly to have this one day that's not being used. So then, what I did here was just glued these two pages together because then there was a whole 
week that was all gray except for one day on Sunday, which I thought was silly and a huge waste of paper in my opinion. I know there's some people that like that. Um, I, I just felt it was wasteful. I felt like it, there's just a waste of paper and it didn't make sense to me. I thought, and I thought I would really like that. I thought it was gonna be super awesome and like having that separation between the months. But in the end, when, you're actually, when I was actually using the planner, it just didn't make sense to me at all. So that's the one thing that I, I really dislike. It's just having this paper that's not being used. So in the end, I will just end up gluing that together and then flipping right over and starting in December. So I just feel like, and I'll show you in the Erin Condren, I just feel like there's more of a flow. And I mean, some people may not like that the two colors are mixed up, but see here, Starts, it ends on the 29th of May and goes into June. And there's these days here. So it starts off, there's two days here and it goes right into the month. So it's just more of a flow and there's no wasted paper. So I like that a lot better in the Erin Condren. Another thing that I um, disliked about um, the Plum Paper Planner was just the color, the color choice. And I mean, when I first started planning, I'll show you, I was not a decorator. I did not decorate. I mean, this was just me writing things in. I had some washi to kind of block out the checklist thing at the bottom. We were on vacation, so I just had some washi at the top. I mean, this was just writing things in. So I didn't do a lot of decorating. I mean, as I went on, I did, but it wasn't until, I mean, now that I've really found my groove with decorating and a flow of planning that works for me. But the, the color choice for some of these months just didn't make sense. I mean, April is, oh my gosh, I'm having a brain fart. It's Easter and spring. And when I think about spring and Easter, I don't think of, you know, this really, this coral color. I just don't. May was okay. June was okay. It just, I mean, October. What the H? It was this blue color. When I think of October, I don't think of blue at all. And then November was this red color. Why can't the red be in December? I mean, I don't know. I just, I didn't like the color choices at all for this month, at all. Whereas I feel like in the Erin Condren planner, I mean, some, of the colors. I mean, the blue is kind of like winter and like that cold ice color. So, um, stuff like that. February, definitely like pink and red for Valentine's Day. March, green for St. Patrick's Day. Um, April is kind of like this purple and turquoise, like spring colors. May, spring, like pink. Um, so, I mean, I do feel, and like even when I was decorating for, um, what was July? July was purple. I'm, I'm in Canada, so I mean, I had to block everything off so it could be red for Canada Day. So it just, I don't know, it just didn't work for me. It didn't work. I feel like it's just more practical for me and it just seems, I don't know, the color choices seem a little bit more appropriate for the Erin Condren planner versus the Plum Paper planner. So that's one thing that I'm, one of the reasons. Now another thing with the Plum Paper planner is everyone goes on and on and on 
about how soft the paper is. And I mean, I'll give it to you. This paper, I mean, you just want to just, just pet this paper. It is so freaking soft when you get it. It's, I don't feel like it's any better than the Erin Condren paper. The Erin Condren paper is, is thick as well. Um, I don't feel like, I mean, everyone talks about how poor the quality of the Erin Condren paper is. Um, and again, I didn't know the, the quality of the Erin Condren paper years ago, so I can't really comment on that. Um, but I don't really feel like the quality of the Erin Condren paper, I don't feel like the Plum Paper Planner is any thicker or any better than the Erin Condren paper, but it does, it is slippery. So I found that some stickers that say, that claim to be repositionable are not as repositionable on this paper. Some washi that is supposed to tear off very easily will tear the paper because it almost has like a coating or something on it. I don't think it's a coating, that's a poor choice of words. But there's something with this paper that it, it really, really sticks to things. So it becomes a little bit more difficult to take it off. So I have damaged my paper a couple times in this planner. Not a big thing, but the slipperiness, I got over it fairly quickly. Um, my other list. The cardstock monthly dividers, and again, I just felt like they're nice, they're not necessarily imperative. And I feel like they just bulk up the planner right from the start because there's the cardstock. And again, it wasn't something that I used. They didn't come decorated. The new ones do have something on it, so they're usable. So I just felt like this blank divider, I mean, and some people use it as a dashboard. Some people use it for whatever reason. Um, because I never used this note page, I mean, it just, it was silly. And I wasn't going to spend time decorating that. I thought, oh, well, at the end, the beginning of the year, I'm like, oh, maybe I'll put a picture of Emily here and show her like growing up through the year. And I was just like, no, oh, no, just something else to decorate or whatever. Um, so I just, I just felt like, I mean, it's nice, but for me, it's, it's kind of an added thing that doesn't need to be there with the, the cardstock divider. That's just me. It's just a personal opinion. Um, another thing is it didn't have a zipper pouch and I like having a zipper pouch. So what I ended up doing was this is just, um, a, I think this was a Martha Stewart for Avery. Yes. This was a Martha Stewart home and office for, for um, through Avery and I got this at Business Depot. It is smaller, but, um, I just wanted something to hold little little things, little stickers and things at the back, um, notes and things like that. So um, I just got two coil clips, clipped them on to um, the side here, clipped them into the planner. It did have a divider, but I found the divider was the little slidey thing it wasn't working for me. So I just clip it together myself. And again, it is smaller. I wish it was bigger. So again, that's just something like that just came with the Erin Condren planner at, as a freebie. And it was just something I had to add on to the planner here. Um, so that was for, for cons for the plum paper planner. Now, um, for pros, I really love the fact that there are so many add-ons for the Plum Paper Planner. I mean, it really helps you to personalize your month. And one of the, the add-ons I purchased was, actually the only add-on that I purchased, was um, a bill tracker. And I loved this. I have used it every single month. I have found that this has been really incredibly useful for keeping on track with bill paying and budgeting so um, this is something that I am I'm really going to actually miss um, for in the Erin Condren because it doesn't come with something like that it comes with an extra booklet um, for budgeting Ugh, but no so I will most likely just design my own bill tracker to put on the monthly view because I don't really need a whole big page like this 
it's not really that necessary. But one pro that I am going to miss is um, the add-ons for the Plum Paper Planner. Just being able to customize as much as you can um, is a huge, huge pro for the company and something that I think they have a really, they've really read the marketplace um, and their customers really well in terms of being able to add things onto the planner and have it bound into your planner. Because honestly, to have to carry around a bunch of different things with it, it's just more shit to, to carry. It's probably, pardon the language, but that's just the way it is. It's just more shit to carry. Um, and another pro for the Plum Paper Planner was the price. The price, the base price, when I purchased, it was $35. And I believe it's at 31 and then add-ons and things like that. So it is considerably cheaper than um, the $55 for Nair and Condren. But for me, it didn't, in the end, it wasn't cheaper because it had things that, it did not have things that I wanted, that I really needed. One thing was eventually just a new cover because I hated the cover. So you add $10 onto that. It didn't come with a bookmark. I have always needed a bookmark with planning, so that was another few dollars. Then add another few dollars on for a pouch because I really wanted a pouch. And this is something that has been very, very useful for me in terms of carrying things around. Um, so add the cost of that onto it. And then it, did, it does not come with stickers. You have to purchase stickers separately. So that's another little bit of money. So then all of those little extras that come standard with an Erin Condren planner were things that I had to purchase separately for my plum paper planner. So what t seemed like a really good deal and something that was really reasonably priced didn't end up being that way simply because I had to purchase all these things in order to make the planner something that would work for me. So that's also something to think about in terms of purchasing a plum paper planner. Now, some people watching this, um, especially very um, big fans of plum paper planner may think I'm bashing them. And this is all my, just my opinion. These are things that didn't work for me or that I did not like for my planner and that didn't work for me. Is plum paper planner, is the plum paper planner a good planner? Yes. It is very good quality. Um, again, some things, like a big thing for me was the cover. A big issue for me was the cover. And some people are like, oh, we'll just cut it off and just laminate and do all these things to it. And I just don't feel like spending that, I don't feel like I should have to spend that much money in which, and I mean, some people are like, $30 really isn't, $35 really isn't that much money. $35 for some people is a lot of money. And I really don't think that spending that much money you should have to add on to it. So for me, spending that little extra for a planner that has everything that I want makes sense to me. So would I still recommend the Plum Paper Planner for people? Yes. If people really loved the idea of an Erin Condren Planner, but just the price tag, and I mean, they just need it to like pen on paper, scribble some notes down, or just to keep their life together, definitely I think that Plum Paper Planner is a great option. It's a very, it's very good quality. I mean, some people, they, they worry about the coil. This coil, I've had this, this planner for almost a year. This planner is bounced around my house. I asked my daughter to grab it off the table. It's been dropped on the floor I don't know how many times. It goes in and out of my bag. It's at my desk at work. I mean, this coil looks the same as the day that I, I received it. I mean, this, this planner is a really, really well-made planner. So, I think that some people may feel like I'm bashing the company. I'm not. Their customer service is really good. Um, I never had an issue with it. Um, so I mean, if you're looking for a, a planner, 
definitely check out Plum, Plum Paper. Um, they have a lot of options. Their covers are beautiful. Different style than Erin Conran, but they are gorgeous. And she has, she always having, she always has new um, designs for the covers. So, I mean, definitely check it out. Um, but if you're kind of going back and forth between the two, definitely watch this video with an open mind. And I mean, some of the issues that I had with my planner might not be issues that you would find issues. They might be just nothing like, oh, I don't know why she, she doesn't like this. Um, so I mean, definitely watch this video and figure out what you like and what you don't like. And um, I will do, once I've been planning in my Erin Condren for a little bit and you know a month or two I mean I definitely will do a comparison and you know what I and just whether or not those things that I thought I would really like I still really like in the Erin Condren so I will definitely keep you posted on I will definitely keep you posted once I am in my Erin Condren planner um, how I like it and how it compares to planning so I hope you I can't remember where I was. Huh. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed the comparison and I hope you all enjoyed this video and um, just some of my um, concerns or things that I didn't like in the Plum Paper Planner. So um, I hope this helped anyone who is kind of on the fence um, about purchasing either one. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the description box. And oh my goodness. If you have any questions you can leave them in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer them as quickly as possible and I will link the new Plum Paper website down below as well as my referral link for Erin Condren if you are interested in purchasing um, an Erin Condren and you've never done an order before um, the link down below will get you ten dollars off your first order and then um, they have a referral program so it's ten dollars for you and then a ten dollar store credit for myself so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i will talk to you soon bye